Hi guys, my name is Caesar, and today I would like to show you how we can scale a test without losing quality. And this is important because if you are working with motion graphs, maybe you are trying to scale your test to create an, a nice effect or even a nice transition. In a sense, it's important to have everything sharp. We don't want nothing pixelated, nothing looks bad in your job, right? So let's take a look how we can do this inside Fusion properly and scale, go super big size without losing quality. So let me show you. So here in the monitor one, I have one test node and I have a transform node. And let me show you what happens if you use a transform node for scale a test. So if you go big here, we can see there is not good. I can go for like 20 and this is the result. So it's a very bad font, it's super pixelated. So this is not good. So if you try scale this, this font right now using the size here, you see this is not good. Okay, so now let's take a look in monitor number two. I have exactly the same, but this time instead of use a transform node, I will just go to layout here and use the size. Okay, so here we can control the size. So let's see, go for 20. And here we go. So we have everything super sharp. So let me go again to monitor one. Let's put the same size, 20, to compare. So now we can compare. If you use a transform node, do you have these bad results? Is super pixelated. In another hand, if you go for layout tab, use the size, you have the same result but much better. So you can go big without losing any quality. And you can go more, you can go like 100, and that's it. So doesn't matter the size you decide, you always have these sharp edges. Let's do again here. If you go to 100, this is what we have. This is super bad. It's not good at all. Okay, so another way to do the same thing here in the layout tab is if you don't want to use the size, you can use center Z. Center Z is almost like you are taking your test and move close to the camera. So let me show you. You can, if you can here in center Z, you can move far away from the camera or you can move very close to the camera and you are not losing quality. I prefer use size, but it's your decision. So another way to scale a test without losing quality is just increase the size just over here. I don't like too much this approach because if you're working a composition that we have more tests, we have a nice layout with more elements, I don't want to change these parameters here. This is from the font parameters. So I would like to use the layout over here in this tab and use this size. So this, I can change everything. And I can use this one, like something like that. So using this approach, you can create a nice transitions, nice animations without losing quality. And this is important because when we work with motion graphics, we are looking for, for sharp animations, very polished, very clean. We don't want to see nothing very pixelated. Unless it's your intent to create something pixelated, but more part of the time, we are looking for something clean, something sharp, something beautiful. So that's it for today. I hope you, you like this video. I hope you have enjoyed this tutorial. It's a very short, but I think it's very useful. And if you like this video, please subscribe to the channel and let's see in the next one. Bye.